Hey guys, welcome back to Com Again, where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today we're going to be taking a look at the new Jada Toys Nano Metal Figs, 100% die-cast metal DC Comics figures. As you can see here, the ones I have are the Flash, Killer Croc, and Green Lantern. I will be opening and reviewing Green Lantern and the Flash. However, Killer Croc, as you can see, was packaged upside down, so I will not be removing him from the package. I'm going to go ahead and keep him in there upside down as a collectible. So let's go ahead and get started here. As you can see here, it says 100% die-cast metal nano metal figs DC Green Lantern uh, and I've got a little article on these pulled up right now uh, the article is on figures.com and what it says is the 100% die-cast figures will be sold in single and five packs starting in July with 10 and 20 packs coming soon thereafter Pictured are a few examples of the DC Nano Metal Figs, showing off their collectible 1 and 65 inch scale. What you can't see in the pictures though, is their weight. At around 30 grams each, they weigh about the same as 5 quarters and have the distinctive die cast feel. Add all these details to a suggested retail price of about 99 cents for single packs and 4.99 for 5 packs. And it's easy to see how these nano figures could become the next big thing for collectors of all ages. Uh, my wife did find these at Walmart yesterday for about 97 cents each. So not quite 99 cents like the article says. Um, still a good buy. I mean, if you guys aren't familiar with uh, Jada Toys die cast metal line, um, they do like a Funko Pop style um, line, about the same size as Funko Pops, only they're all metal. They're die cast metal. We did uh, a review of the Jada Toys Spider Man on here. We've also got a Jada Toys Spider Gwen coming up uh, in the foreseeable future. I've already filmed the review on it. It's going to be. Uh, it's got to be edited and then scheduled for um, publication. Um, Jada Toys is their their figures since they're completely die cast metal. They don't move. They don't have any articulation at all. They're just statues, but they're really solid, detailed figures. And the paint job is incredible. Let's um. Let's grab another toy that's about the same size, maybe a little bit bigger. Um, I thought I had another smaller one, but uh, it looks like it's missing. It might be in storage or something. But this is a stand, one of the uh, regular Green Lanterns. I have I can't remember what line this is from it's just plastic you know um, as you can see they're smaller than this uh, this is about oh I'd say two inches two and a quarter maybe this is for ages three and up um, however I probably wouldn't give it to anyone younger than five years old because kids like to put things in their mouths. And with these being so small, 
they are choking hazards. We'll take a look at the back here. Uh, let's see here. We've got the Batman vs. Superman Batman, Suicide Squad, Harley Quinn, Aquaman, Classic TV Series Batman, The Joker, Mr. Freeze, Batman vs. Superman Desert Batman, Suicide Squad Joker, Killer Croc, Superman, Suicide Squad Katana, Justice League Tactical Suit Batman, Superman, Batman, Green Lantern, Wonder Woman, Commissioner Gordon, Justice League Wonder Woman, Justice League Flash, The Flash, Harley Quinn, Cyborg, Supergirl, and Wonder Woman. And as you can see here, jadatoys.com. Uh, this was is 2017 Jaded Toys Inc. Copyrighted. Metalfigs.com as well. So let's go ahead and open this guy up and take a look at him. Comes in a standard bubble packaging. And right away I can tell it. He's pretty solid figure. Just look at that paint job. I mean, yeah, the details on the face aren't that great with it being such a small figure, but you know what? It's not going to be perfect being so small. But it's still a great likeness, great paint job, solid figure. It's not hollow at all. It's a single mold. Um, I actually kind of like this design for Green Lantern. Uh, it does. The back doesn't go all the way around. It's kind of a cross between Hal Jordan's original costume and Jon Stewart's costume. I kind of like that. I like that a lot, really. Um, it's not completely accurate to the comics, but that that actually looks really cool. Um, if the comics did something like this only just having it in the front and not go all the way down as trunks I think that would look really cool on Hal um, it's actually a pretty nice design as you can see here there's already a little bit of paint wear on the knuckle and I don't know how well you can tell come on Focus, focus, focus. Some paint splashing, green paint on the face, uh, but not too bad. They got really good detail on the lantern on his chest. Pretty cool, really. Take a look at these guys side by side. This one being plastic does have more detail. However, the... Uh, Green Lantern symbol isn't really painted in. It's just a solid color. Um, so that's pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and take a look at The Flash. The fastest man alive. The Flash is my brother Jeremy's favorite comic book character. Uh, he's really gotten into comics here lately. Uh, growing up, he wasn't really into comics that much. He had a few, but... I think ever since the uh, Flash hit TV, um, he's really kind of taken a liking to comics. Look at the paint on this guy. That's a really nice paint job for Barry Allen. And yes, this is the Barry Allen Flash. You can tell by his belt. Um, Although they didn't paint the uh, little wings on his cowl. And they didn't paint the lightning bolt on his first gloves. But other than that, very nice paint job. Um, I really like that metallic red they used. Very beautiful figure. And as I said, solid mold. Uh, the face, once again... Not much in the way of uh, detail, but that's okay. They made up with it. Uh, 
on the rest of the figure with the paint job and everything. I mean, just look at this. Very beautiful paint job. Very nice. Now let's take a look at Killer Croc. Like I said, I'm going to leave him in the package. Um, he does actually look like a croc. He doesn't have the rounded face like in Batman the Animated Series or uh, some of the comics. He actually looks like a giant crocodile. The only thing they didn't really do on Croc... Actually, yeah, I guess they kind of did. They did kind of do paint in a way to where it looks like scales for him. That's really cool. Pretty cool indeed. So there you have it, guys. The Jaded Toys. One and six... D5 inch scale nano metal figs 100% die cast metal uh, DC Comics collectibles hope you enjoyed this review on Comageddon TV where all geek culture collides I'm Shannon and take care Hey guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure and leave us a comment so we know how you felt about this video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Come Again, where all geek culture collides.